First and foremost, I want to give all honours and praises and glory belongs to my Lord and Saviour. His name is Yahweh, Wahasham, Yahweh Shai, Wahasham, Wahavaka Kwadash. The name of the Heavenly Father is Yahweh, and the Son's name is Yahweh Shai, in who I reverence. And honours to the elder apostles of Great Millstone that taught me this truth, and those of you that are in the Holy Spirit, and to the hopeful elect across the globe, and to the few, the very few brothers and sisters listening and also learning in the hopes of being saved within within these last days this lesson is going to be based on how can how can you boast in self-righteousness the wicked of our people the pharisees not all but the majority of them they were self-righteous which equates to what pride so when you're self-righteous and self-righteousness is what you thinking you achieve something by your own means that's pride so Yahabashah he wasn't dealing with them because they had that spirit they thought they would be saved just by the law itself which we are not saved by the law within itself but we still re rehearse the righteous acts so let's go to Matthew 23 and let's start at 23rd chapter then spake Yahabashah to the multitude and to his disciples because you had the disciples and you had also had a multitude that also believed that followed you have a shire, right? And the multitude, they weren't keeping a whole bunch of laws, right? They they believed. <laughs> That's what Yahweh was teaching. Faith, belief. Saying the scribes and the Pharisees sit in Moses' seat, right? And Moses' seat represents dominion, rank, okay, lordship. Which, even when Moses was given that position, he didn't even want to do it, right? But today you have men, they're all about rank. That's all they care about, a position here, looking good. All they're for, whatsoever they bid you. Bid you means tell you what to do. Observe, you observe it because it's according to the law. Right, observe and do. So Yahweh was letting us know, you observe it. What these men are telling you, even though they're not doing it themselves, you follow what they're telling you to do. But do not after their works. Why? Because their works were opposite. Their works were works of hypocrisy, deceit. For they say and do not. So they were saying, but they were not doing. For they bind heavy burdens, and these burdens were certain things that were according to the Lord, which they knew the people could not do. And grievous to be born and lay them on men's shoulders but they themselves will not move them with one one of their fingers so it said they're right there they would they were not they were not doing it themselves so you're going to have that in the truth right and that's why again the justification is really through really is through predestination and it was not of self-righteousness if a man's saved if a man's delivered by Yahweh Shai, that's because he was predestined to be delivered, predestined to be saved. If you were wicked and you're supposed to die on this side, that's was because you were predestined to that. Okay? We're going to go to Proverbs 16 and 2. A lot of men still don't understand what this truth is really about. Let's go to Proverbs 16. And let's go straight to, where is it? I'm on the right one. 16 and 2. Start at 16. The preparations of the heart in man. And the heart goes to mind. So everything you think you're planning. Right? Because again, that's the way of the world. I got this plan. I'm going to do this. I'm going to do that. No. Right? And the answer of the tongue is from the Lord. You have a shy. So even the preparations, the planning that you think you're doing. No, it's of you have a shy. Right? And the answer of the tongue is from the Lord Jehovah Yabashai. All the ways of man are clean in his own eyes. And the reason I like this scripture, because it says all the ways of man are clean in his own eyes. That's what you call self-conceit. That's what you call pride. Because a man can say all day long, well, um, I think I'm a good, I think I'm a good citizen. I open a door for Edomites, uh, my work colleagues, you know. 
Nobody's got anything bad to say about us. Well, you do know if your Havisha was to um pull up your tab, what would he find? <laughs> you see what I mean? That's why it's so important to be humble. All the ways of men are clean in his own eyes. Anybody can say, well, I, I just think I'm, I think I'm a good person. I think I'm really good. Anybody can say that. Any could, anybody can put on an act. Anybody can put on a garment on Saturdays. Right? Stand, stand with their head down. Acting humble with their hands behind their back. But really, they may be demonic. This is why it's all according to what? Yahweh Shai. Right? It's not of ourselves. But the Lord Yahweh Shai, way of the spirits. And that's what Yahweh is doing. And guess what? He knows every spirit. He knows what spirit are his. And he knows them deceitful, wicked spirits as well. Right? He weighs the spirits. He weighs it in the balance. Right? Commit thy works unto the Lord Yahweh Shai, and thy thoughts shall be established. The Lord hath made all things. So yes, he controls and he makes all things for himself. Yeah, even the wicked for the day of evil. So yes, even the wicked, they're being reserved for what? The day of evil. Okay? And everyone that is proud in heart, in mind, is an abomination to the Lord, you have a shy. They'll hand join in hand. So me, I'm not about taking deals, defrauding, defrauding anybody for this money. I don't get paid for teaching, right? For doing, for doing extra hours on the highways. I don't get paid for doing extra hours. <laughs> And we put our lives, the true prophets, they put their lives in what? In jeopardy. Their lives are in danger. Not just from people in the world, even by men in the truth that have a demonic heart spirit. Right? Which I did say I was going to do a lesson. The next lesson would be based on that. Right? Though hand join in hand, he shall not be unpunished. <laughs> right? Though hand join in hand, because you have our people, they're not content. So guess what they do? They join with what? Esau. They make an alliance, but the scripture says you're still not going to be unpunished, right? Ain't about self justification. See, the wicked, they were about self justification. Oh, but look what I do. I do this, I do that. I'm a good citizen, I'm a good Samaritan. That's what spirit they had. Can't you, can't you see it? Now let's go to Ecclesiastes 7 and 20, right? It's, it's, it's interesting because you can look at another man and say, well, I don't believe he deserves any salvation. But the same man that has that mentality, you have a shot, I could look at that individual and say, well, all right, you're doing particular things, but you don't believe in me. You're deceitful. I don't delight in you. I delight in that man. So I'm going to cast you out. I'm going to take the spirit from you and I'm going to save him. It's just how you have a shot works. Why are, you gonna, why are you getting mad? It's just the how Yahweh Shai works. Okay. Because he obviously sees something in your spirit that wasn't right. <laughs> but this individual, as much as he messes up, he's went off. Yahweh Shai saw something within him that he deemed what? Different. Redeemable. Right? Which all of our people, eventually they're going to be what? Redeemable. But on this side, it's about an elect. Right? Ecclesiastes 7 and 20, you have a lot, man, a lot of things are going on. Let's go to Ecclesiastes 7 and 20. You've got other men that are trying to stop other men from receiving salvation, which is ludicrous, man. Because the scripture says, I have an open door. No man can shut it. Okay, except from you have a shy. It's unbelievable what, what spirit men are moving in today. And the reason why they be in that spirit, because they don't believe they're going to be shown any mercy. That's why it said in Matthew 23, the most important matters you have admitted. Faith, mercy, judgment. If a man doesn't have faith, he ain't going to be teaching you things of faith. If a man doesn't have judgment, right? Okay, he's partial, he's a respect of persons. He ain't going to be able to bring forth true judgment, even amongst himself, even amongst his body. If a man doesn't have what else? Or is it faith, judgment, yet yeah, mercy? If a man doesn't have, if a man hasn't been shown mercy, and he has a condemned spirit, how is he going to show mercy to anybody else? That's why these things were so important, right? 
and there's a particular spirit you're going to move in right if you have these things if you have these attributes but if you don't you're going to be what in a sunken place every video you're just going to be in a sunken place right don't doubt Yahweh Al Shani's mercy Ecclesiastes 7 and 20 for there is not a just man upon earth that doeth good and sinneth not and I, the reason I had to say it like that and sinneth not because it doesn't say there is not a just man if okay because these men are just but guess what they sinned did not King David sin committed adultery Got that individual what taken out then he committed adultery and other prophets as well that went off for there is not a just man upon earth that doeth good and sinneth not so even the just men what sin they're just but they still sin right <laughs> okay this is what you gotta be aware of right the over the over righteous spirit which you being over righteous yes it can make you wicked because you're just you're just looking at the law you're not you're not you're not you're not looking at your you're just looking at the law right oh boy so now speaking of the law okay let's go straight to we're gonna go into that word hold on a minute Hold on a minute. Justification only through faith, the reliance on the Most High's grace, not through good deeds, which the Pharisees, that's what the spirit they had. They were looking at it, well, we done this deed, we done that good deed. Oh, we're definitely going to get, nope, because your mind still may not be right. Right? With Yahweh Shai. Not with men, with Yahweh Shai. So let's start at. Okay, Romans 5. Okay, videos have to be done to edify the hopeful elect so they're not high minded. So you're not looking at another brother that's repented or sister that's repented and looking down upon them. Okay, because you're high minded. Let's go to Romans 5. Okay, and high, high minded individuals they're not going to make it, right. Romans 5, therefore being justified by faith, right? That's what the justification is through. It's through your faith in Yahweh Shai, okay? Not so much how many works you did, which the works was a, it was a manifestation of your faith, how much you believed in Yahweh Shai. That was just like an extra thing added. Therefore being justified by faith, right? We have peace with the Most High, through our Lord Yahweh Shai Mashiach. So, with justification, through faith, through believing, there's peace. Men don't have peace. Men are tormented because they're obviously not justified by faith. They were looking at the law all this time, just the law. They were not looking at Yahweh Shai, they were looking at the law. Right? They were in that spirit, put him to death. They, they were in that spirit. You see what I'm saying? Which we're going to do in the kingdom. We're going to be doing that if people don't want to abide by the law, the ways. Right now is a rehearsal. So everything we do is a rehearsal. By whom we also have access by faith into his grace. Into this grace. So we have access. What? Unto what? Salvation. And it's by faith. Just believing in Yahweh Shai. Not having to do all this other extra stuff. The washing of pots. Right? The big garments, the phylacteries. You don't need to do all that. All that's outward. All that's an outward appearance to seem righteous. Right? Wherein we stand and rejoice in hope for the glory of our power. And not only so, but we glory in tribulation also, knowing that tribulation will give patience. Right? And patience, experience. Right? So when you're going through these tribulations, it brings forth patience, which is long suffering. When you're going through long suffering, it brings forth what experience. And that's how you're able to grow all these different experience and men are going to look at your walk your journey yeah they're going to watch your video and they're going to look at your journey they're going to say this they're going to say that that's all right you know what you've had to go through you know what you have to put you through and you come out better and you're, you're given more experience 
The men that are not going through these things, why? Because they have a platform in this world, right? So how could you be humble if you have a high platform in this world? You're loved by the world. Nobody has anything bad to say about you. That's not being humbled. That's being exalted, right? And experience hope. So with this experience, it also brings hope. And hope maketh not ashamed because our love of the Most High, Yahweh Shai, is shed abroad in our hearts by the Holy Spirit which is given unto us. Alright? So now, verse 6 For when we were yet without strength, in due time, Mashiach died for the ungodly. Hope, what, 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 what did it say? What? The righteous. Mashiach died for the ungodly that were repentant. For scarcely should a righteous man. For a righteous man will one die. Yet pre-adventure for a good man, some would even dare to die. But the most high commended his love toward us in that while we were yet sinners, Mashiach died for us. Much more than being now justified by his blood through the new covenant. Okay, and you don't need to do six, seven, ten, twenty videos on the new covenant. You believe in Yahweh Shai. You you believe you were justified through his blood. Right? Because you believe on you believe on him, right? So you're going to be justified by his blood, okay? Which was shed for what the remission of many that believed we shall be saved from the wrath through him. For if we were, were enemies, we were reconciled to the Most High by the death of his son. So we were enemies when we didn't have Yahweh Shai, right? By what wicked works, much more being reconciled, brought back, we shall be saved by his life, not by ourselves. And not only so, but also we joy in the Most High through our Lord Yahweh Mashiach, by whom we have now received the atonement. Right? That one atonement right? for your sins, all your sins, all the sins you've had, your past life until now. Right? You can tell the Pharisees wouldn't like that. Right? Because they wanted you to, the fact they wanted you to remain in your sins. They wanted you to loathe in your sin. And you got the same thing in the truth today. That's why you got men loathing in their sins. They're in an evil, wicked spirit. See, when you have Yahweh Shai, you're not going to be stuck in that downtrodden place. Okay? Galatians 3. Let me just move. Galatians 3. Now we're going to go to Galatians 3. Okay. And jump straight to 24. Okay. Galatians 3, and let's go to 20. Now, a mediator is not a mediator of one, but the Most High is one. Is the law then against the promises of the Most High? God forbid. For if there had been a law given which could have given life, verily righteous shall have been by the law. So, if that first covenant, okay. The Old Testament could have given life, right, to all of our people. It would have, but we can keep it so it brings forth, forth. It was supposed. To, it was supposed to give life. It was supposed to, because that's why the Most High done it. The Most High wasn't going to give us something that wouldn't be for our benefit. But it didn't give us life because we didn't keep it a hundred percent. Verily, righteous shall been of by the law. If that was the case, it would have been. By the law, that would have been it. You would have been justified by what? The law within itself. But we weren't. But the scripture have concluded, all are under sin. Why? Because if you break one, you've broken them all. But the promise by faith of Yahweh Shai Mashiach might be given to them that believe. <laughs> you see? Okay. So with believing, Yahweh Shai gives you that faith. If you don't believe, well, you're not going to be given that faith. But before faith came, we were kept under the law. Shut up unto the faith. Which should afterwards be revealed. And that was revealed through Yahweh Shai. You believing on him. Right. And it says. Wherefore the law was our schoolmaster. A schoolmaster is a tutor. Right. So that's what the law was. It was a tutor unto us. Don't do this. Do, don't do that. To bring us unto Mashiach. Right. Unto Yahweh Shai. That we might be justified by faith. But after faith has come. We are no longer under the schoolmaster, what the old law, okay? We're no longer under that, but after faith that is come, we are no longer under a schoolmaster. 
and that's where the what the new covenant comes in okay for ye are all the children of the most high by faith in mashiach part of the new covenant right but as many of you as have been baptized into mashiach not talking about water baptized into mashiach through what belief have put on mashiach because the word is also known as water right so what what are you baptized with this word remember a lot of these other scriptures are what symbolic not actually water which john the baptist was doing right as a sign okay of what was to come so yeah this is why no brother could be high-minded and it's sad that you got that in the truth men trying to uh, count count other men's sins well he was doing this here he was doing that bro men like that they're going to be destroyed don't you get it okay and you can see if a man has been shown mercy just through what he's going through and one thing i want to say as well is the things that your has shown me oh man he will let you know if he's dealing with you he'll show you signs says, look keep going i'm with you right and yeah we stay humble within that but the wicked that have it in this world they're not going to be humble they're going to be proud and they're going to be speaking against the humble okay so with this lesson i hope this was edifying and until the next time shut up